How's it going, everyone? This is going to be a trade breakdown, trade review on gold post CPI. So you can see here on the daily chart, we put in a swing high, another swing high, and we are starting to get bearish order flow lower. So where do my eyes draw to? Well, this low right here. Now you can see we have price reaching up into a fair value gap here and then displacing and closing below the series of up close candles here. So that is my order block. So ideally I'm looking for price to reach up into the order block to go for sell side liquidity. Now you can see Tuesday here, we reach up into it and Wednesday we start to drift a little bit lower. Now, why am I not really interested in these days here? Well, let's go take a look at the economic calendar. So here on the economic calendar, you can see Monday, no news, Tuesday, no news, Wednesday, no news, and Thursday is our first red folder news day of the week. So this is where my interest lies post 830 or after CPI. So with that idea in mind, let's go back to the chart after 830 AM. So let's go ahead and drop down to the hourly chart. So down here on the hourly chart, what do I notice? Well, we're kind of in a consolidation here. We have our daily order block right here, and we have previous day high right here, and the day prior right here. Now, what do we notice about these two highs? This day's high is lower than the previous, and this creates a failure swing or low resistance liquidity. And ideally, when we are trading lower, I want to have high resistance liquidity on the highs and target low resistance liquidity. So ideally, I want to see price reach up or manipulate up to then go down. So let's see what happens as we near our 830 open. So here you can see we get our CPI and we take our previous day's highs. Now we manipulate up and then we close lower. So with this idea in mind, I'm going to drop down to the five minute chart. Now down here at the five minute chart, where is my draw on liquidity? Well, we have our daily sell side liquidity resting below, but what else do we have? We have this low right here. What is that? That is our previous day low. So I'll mark that out. And that is our original consolidation in this market maker sell model. So zooming back in, you can see we swept previous day high and the day prior, we have a wick up and then we displace and close lower. Now I have my draw on liquidity. What am I looking for? I want to see price reach back up into a premium of the range. So after we put in this low here, I want to mark from this high down to this low. And I'm ignoring the wick here because it's just CPI manipulation. So here we are into a premium of the range. And if I'm looking for a short setup, I want to see an intermediate term high put in here in the premium of the range, as I don't think we're going to reach all the way up into this fair value gap. So what am I going to look for? I'm going to look for a high to be taken. Now, the next thing I'm looking for is if you've seen my last video, I want to pair it with something. And so with that, I'm looking for a bullish order block on the buy side of the curve to use on the sell side of the curve. So marking off this order block here and dragging that over. I want to see price reach up above this high, drop lower, put in a short term high to continue lower. Now, what does that give us? Well, if I have a short term high here, a short term high here, and this high is higher than both of those, that is an intermediate term high. So that would allow me to have my stop loss on this high and then target previous day low. So let's see how this works out. You can see we continue higher here. Here we actually put in another short term high. And I'm not interested to take an entry here because I have failure swings on the high. If I am going to be taking a short entry, I want to see a sweep. So here we get this sweep. Now, if this is going to form an intermediate term high, what do I need? I need a short term high to form on the other side. So now we have a fair value gap aligned with the mitigation block. So ideally, to see a short term high put in in this fair value gap to go lower, and this would confirm that as an intermediate term high. So with that idea in mind, I look to take my entry on the fair value gap overlapping with the mitigation block, my stop on this intermediate term high that is likely to form, and then my target is previous day low here. Now I could be looking for 
my total drawn liquidity down here for 3R, but I personally just went for 2R here. So you can see, get filled in here, and I actually didn't get filled in until this candle here. And then we start to continue lower. So you can see, now we confirm this as an intermediate term high. I wanna keep my stop on this high because this is where it is invalidated. We start to go lower, and now we come into some drawdown. Now, what do you notice right here? We sweep another high. So if we're going to form a short-term high on the other side again, this will be another intermediate term high. Let's see what happens. No swing high yet. And right here we get a swing high, right? Let's see if the next candle confirms that. It does. So you can see now this is an intermediate term high. Now I wanna see price reach for this low. And there it goes and reaches for the low. Now, a lot of people, when we start to move away from this, will move their stop loss to break even. Now you can see, I would have got stopped out of the trade and then it would have ran. Now, why don't I do that? Well, where is my trade invalidated? My trade is not invalidated at break even. This is still an entry, right? That's right where I entered. My trade is invalidated at this high. This is where I accept the risk. This is where I'm gonna get stopped out. So it never goes and reaches for that. It does go down about half an R and then goes to the TP. Let's go ahead and zoom out just so you can see it. And we'll review it one more time. We have price just kind of grinding up here. CPI manipulates up, sweeping previous day high and the day prior into a daily PD array. The hourly aligns with the daily here, as well as the five minute. Now I mark out a mitigation block and then I use some advanced structure to look for intermediate term highs to gain an entry. Now, once I'm entered into that trade, I have my invalidation and my target, and I let the trade sit until it hits our TP. Now, does this go and reach for our drawn liquidity? Well, let's find out. It does. So I could have gotten 3R on that trade, but I am just fine with my TP on previous day low. So just one more quick review. Going to the daily, I have price sweeping previous day highs into a daily PD array with equal lows resting below. Dropping down to the hourly, you can see the CPI manipulation here above previous day's highs, and then we get the close lower. Dropping down to the five minute chart, you can see how my entry is a fair value gap overlapped with a mitigation block targeting the original consolidation or previous day low. If you did find this helpful, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to do more of these when I have time to record them. And with that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See ya.